Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time of coming across my page, you are highly welcome. So on today's video, we are going to talk about how can we be able to take a stock control sheet for retail shop, irrespective of the business that you are into, whether you are a small business owner or you are a larger business owner. So this Excel sheet template, I have carefully arranged it in a way that you can easily understand it. And it will help you to know the quantity of items that you have sold in your shop. It will help you to know the inventory value, the sales value, and the stock available that you have. It will also help you to know whether you still have available stock or you need to pre-order. So let's get into the video. So as you can see, this is an Excel software that I've opened a Microsoft Excel. Now, this is the template that I have designed as a sample to use and demonstrate these teachings with you. So now, this item that we have displayed here, the, the title is called the Stock Control Sheet for Retail Shop. Now, here are our products. Let's take, for instance, assuming that I am into hair accessories business and I want to know the quantity of stock that I have sold, the quantity of stock that I have in hand, the unit price, the inventory value, the sales value and the available stock that we have and also the status. So all these are examples that I have imputed. So whenever you come across this video and you are looking for ways that you can be able to know the sales that you have made and the quantity of stock that you have at hand, you can use the real-time values that you have available with you. So now let's go into the, the stuff. So now whenever you open an Excel sheet, let's say for instance, this is called an Excel workbook. And whenever you open a workbook, you see all these small, small boxes, they are called sales. And all this line that has numbers, they are called the rows. Why the lines that have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, T, infinity, they are called the columns. So let's say that we have opened a sheet and we have renamed it stock control sheet. So you can have as many sheets as possible, depending on what you are working on. So this is the template that I have designed. Like I said earlier, assuming that I'm into a business and these are the products that I have in my store. I'm selling hair accessories. I'm selling hair donor, for instance, virgin hair, shoes, bags, jewelry, sneakers, hair dryer. So you can add as many as different items that you have available in your store. So let's take, for instance, like I said earlier, I have this as an instance, as a product in my store. And the unit price of the items that I have is, the hair accessories unit price is 300, hair donor is 500, virgin hair is 150. The unit price, that is the price per each of the products, for instance. And the shoes here, I'm selling it at the rate of 200 Naira per, or 200, depending on the currency that you are operating on. So let's assume in that all these values are my unit prices. Now, these are the quantities that I have in hand, and these are the quantities that I have been able to sell currently or in the past, depending on the stock that you have and the present condition of what you are doing. So now, how do I know the inventory value? How will I be able to know the level of the inventory, inventory that I have? How do I know the current stock or the inventory that I have? So let's go into it. Firstly, remember that whenever you are doing any calculation in Excel, you have to start with equal to sign. So let's enter our equal to. Then we'll now say product, our product, open bracket. So we are looking at the unit price, which is under column C and roll four. So we'll say C4, multiply it by, so we are going to multiply the unit price by the quantity 
that we have in hand so that we know the inventory value that is available. Inventory value, I mean the current stock that we have available. So we'll now say D4. So by our D4, we we'll multiply C4 by D4, then we we'll close the bracket, we we'll press enter. That is 45,000. So instead of me to continue entering this formula till the end, till infinity, depending on the number of items that you have in your shop, kindly click on this cell, then place this cursor that just is showing a plus sign with a, ho a hollow inside. So when you place it on the cell, it will change that hollow sign to a tiny plus sign, as you can see. Just drag it down. So it will automatically auto-sum the remaining ones. What I mean by auto-sum, it will automatically calculate the summation of the unit price by the quantity that we have in hand. So now, after I've finished this, how do I know my sales value? How do I know the quantity that I've sold? Now, for you to get your sales value, you have to multiply the unit price by the quantity that you have sold. So remember our formula, we always use equal to, no matter the formula that you are using in Excel. So we are going to say equal to product, our products, open brackets. So now we are still working on our C, our C4. So we we'll now say C4, comma, why I use this comma so that it will separate the D4 because I'm concentrating on the quantity that we sold and the unit price by, okay, we'll now say E4. As you can see, it has already highlighted E4 and C4 for me. Then I'll close the brackets, enter. So now it has shown me the value of the items that I have sold the sales value that I've had. So I've been able to sell 30,000 items, values of items on these hair accessories. So like I said earlier, instead of me to be repeating the same formula, I will just drag the formula down and it will calculate orders automatically for me. So now how do I know the available stock that I have in my store? So now this is where we are going to use minus. So we'll now say the quantity that we have in hand, we will minus it from the quantity that we have sold, normal, our normal calculation. So this is how we are going to get the available stock that we have. So we'll now say equal to, remember that the quantity that we have in hand is column D4 as you can see. So we we'll now say open brackets, or we can just say our D4, our D4 minus, we'll look for a minus sign, our D4 minus E4, okay? As you can see now, it has highlighted the two cells that we need. So we'll say equal to, I just seen it. So the available stock that I have for this hair accessories now is remaining 50 pieces in my store because I have sold 100 out of the 150 that we have at hand and the unit price of them is 300 per each of the item. So now, like I said earlier, instead of me to be calculating them one after the other, I will just do we do them on autofill as you can see i'll drag it down so it, it has given me the value here now so because of why i'm getting this value here now is because of the numbers that i have imputed don't mind what i've imputed so whenever you are making your own calculations you can just use numbers that can be relevant for you. So I will still edit them. So let's assume in that, okay, let's assume in that I put 150 here now. As you can see, it has automatically edited everything because I have used the formula. So every other thing that I'm doing will be automated. So let's assume in that I say 
that I change this value now to 100. As you can see, so it is reducing. Okay, so I'm minusing the quantity that I've sold from the quantity that we have at hand. Or let's assume in that, oh, I want to change the figures that I have. Maybe they are too big or that I made mistake or there is anywhere that I made mistake. So if you are going through situations like this and it's, it is giving you minus, minus with a value attached to it, you can check the stocks that you have. You can edit them. So as long as you are editing them very well, you can still get a value that is relatable. So let's say, for instance, I'm re-editing all this. Let's assume that I have a higher value and I want to replace the value so that I can have a positive feedback or that the values that I have at hand, I want something that is feasible, for instance, or that I have a product at hand and I'm trying to know how I can be able to manipulate the numbers that I have so that they can reflect effectively and match up with the, the sales that I have. As you can see, because I have already used the formula, so all the templates, the templates are editable. So you can edit them to your taste. You can add any value and it will not affect what you are doing. As you can see, so the values are changing. So that is how they work. So irrespective of what you have at hand, you can always edit. You can always change the values. You can see now. So everything that I've entered, here, I've edited them. So that is how these templates work. As long as you use this formula, you can always edit. You can always delete the an item and add another one. And it will still automate everything for you. So now, now that I've finished checking the available stocks that I have, for instance, how do I know the status of the stocks that I have? Do I need to pre-order? Do I need to leave it or do I need to check to know the available ones that I have? So now we are going to use the if formula. So we'll now say if, remember you have to use equal to first. So if open bracket, our I5, remember that we are working with, this is what we are working with here. So if our H, this is the available stocks. If the available stocks, which is the H4, let's say our H4 is greater than or equal to, let me say, let's assume that if there is any stock that I have that is below 10 or below 15 or below 20, maybe my target is whenever I have an item that the quantity is 10 in number or 15 in number, I should be able to know that, oh, it's time for me to reorder. It's time for me to get a new product, for instance. So let's assume that whenever I have an item that is below 30, for instance, let me say 30. So I will now say, I'll give it a command reorder it should give me a prompt that i should reorder okay you close the brackets say enter so now, from this prompt that i have gotten here on my status it is showing me that I still have stock available because I assume that anytime I have up to 50 pieces per item in my stock, that I still have a little stock. So let me drag the formula down so that it can also automate other available items. Then I will know whether is there any item that I need to upgrade in my stock. Okay. Have you seen it now? So it has highlighted, oh, this one I have 15 pieces. Is I, I need I need I need to buy more 
of these 15 pieces, the quantity of the item that I have has reduced. And this one, oh, I need to reorder again. Have you seen it? So I gave it an order that whenever I have 30 pieces of an item in my store, that as long as I have this, my template with me, it should show me a sign that, oh, I need to reorder. So for me to make these items visible so that they will not, like, I will not get confused because because of the arrangement of the data. So I need to use colors and differentiate the reorder so that it will give me that signal, that urgency signal, for instance. So you highlight the cell, then go to conditional formatting. So when you click on conditional formatting, okay, now go to more rules. So, We'll, go, we'll click on format only cells that contains what we need. So we click on the cells value to check the specific test. So now, what are we looking at? We are looking at reorder. Reorder. Okay. So now, because I've imputed reorder, I want it to give me a signal that, oh, I need to reorder this item. It has finished or the number has reduced. So I need to change the color formatting. I need to format it, change the color. As you can see, you can pick any color of your choice. You can pick, so let me pick red for an instance. So you can change the border of the test if you like. You can change the font style of the test if you like, depending on what you want, as you can see. So I just change the color only because I want it to give me a different outlook, a kind of urgency, a sense of urgency. Oh, I need to reorder an item that I have. So have you seen it now? So it has given me the red icon now. So I only have few items available now. So let's assume that I want to add more items from these templates that I have. You can still add them. So let me add Let's say that I'm selling jeans. And the available, the units of the jeans that I'm selling, one is 5,000, for instance. And the quantity that I have at hand, I have, let's say that I have up to 100 pieces in my shop or my store, depending on what you're operating on. And now, have you seen it? It has already multiplied the amount of goods the unit price, it has given you the total amount that you have. That's 100 pieces that you have multiplied by the price. Let's say that you have 500 by each price. So it has multiplied this already automatically and gave us 50,000 naira. That's the total worth of goods that I have for these jeans. So now, let me say that, assuming that I sold a quantity of, let me say, assuming that I sold 50 pieces from it, or that I sold, I've sold 80 pieces, for instance. Have you seen it? It has automatically calculated everything and show me a signal that, oh, I need to reorder this item. Because I gave, remember a prompt that whenever I have an item that is below 30, 30 pieces, it should give me a sign that I need to reorder. So these are the simple, simple ways, simple, simple methods that you can use to check your inventory, that you can use to check the, the data entry of the stocks that you have in your shop. So with these procedures, it can always help you to know the process or the progress of your business, whether you are making sales or you are not making sales. Thank you so much for watching. Please, if you're able to watch this extent please help us like this video share this video so that more people can see them sorry for the background is is dark here so it's night already i just wanted to post this video so that one or two persons can see because some persons have been asking me oh can you help us post this thing so that others can learn from it so these are the simple ways that you can do this Thank you so much for supporting us. Thank you for subscribing to our channel. Please help us share this video so that the algorithm will pick this video so that others can be able to see it. Thank you so much. Bye.